Thank you very much for your patience. Siguro, uh, just some um, parang anecdote, no? You know, Vel, I'm not sure if she knows me. <laughs> uh, so, you know, a, a month ago, uh, so I sing in a choir. A month ago, I joined a choir who is based in Santuario de San Antonio. And now she remembers, okay? <laughs> And you know, I saw her during the time that me and my wife went for uh, for audition. But of course, I, we didn't know anybody there. Okay. And then, lo and behold, when I saw the program that Lirio sent me, there was Bell Barra's name. How how lucky am I, diba, that I'm singing with this powerful soprano? Okay. And then I'm lecturing. <laughs> so you know, I it only goes to show that you know. In this world, talaga no, who knows she'll be meeting. And uh, I guess I consider myself a lucky developmental behavioral pediatrician to sing side by side with Bell. Diba? Okay. So now, my, um, I guess my goal for this afternoon's talk uh, on my part of the talk is uh, to give more light on what is autism spectrum disorder. I'm sure Lirio and Dr. Reyes diba, already gave you uh, some thoughts on that one, you know, the presentation. Uh, on my end, I will be discussing um, my experiences on clinical practice. Okay? So that's why the title, well, the title of my talk should have been Autism Across the Lifespan. So from the youngest that I've seen, which is about a year old, to the oldest, which is about 42 years old. Okay. So some disclosure, so some conflict of interest. So in my uh, clinical practice, I. I'm trained and receive compensation when I diagnose or evaluate individuals who are thought to have autism. Here are my objectives. So I'll be discussing the clinical features of autism, uh, the DSM-5 diagnostic criteria. So what do we look for okay, before we say that this child or individual has autism? And then uh, we'll talk about how do we identify and evaluate a child or individual with possible autism. And then we'll talk about comorbidities. So for clinical features, uh, this has been repeatedly said, you know, the social communication impairments and the repeated repetitive and stereotype behaviors. So in the social communication impairments, this would include the lack of joint attention. I will be discussing more in detail each item. So lack of joint attention, the lack of use of nonverbal behaviors in social communication. Uh, they may be very withdrawn or have variable or odd interaction with others. They have difficulty establishing friendships, meaning they may be aloof or they may be overly intrusive. Uh, they lack the ability to feel empathy. They lack the theory of mind skills. And they lack social reciprocity. So what is joint attention? Joint attention is actually the first um, behavior or the first sign uh, of social skills development in people or in children. So what does this mean? Joint attention is, for example, I'm, you know, I'm me. And then there's a person whom I want that person to see what I find interesting. So for a three-year-old child, maybe the child sees an airplane, and then the child says to his mom, Mom, look at that airplane. Okay. So the behavior that I said, I called mom's attention. I pointed at the object using my words and fingers and eye contact. That is an initiation. I initiated the joint attention to share the experience because I found the plane interesting. I want my mom to see that the plane is interesting, okay? What's the other way around? The response to joint attention. What if, for example, my mom sees something interesting and she wants me to look at that? So she tells me, Harold, look at this one. And then I look at where she's pointing or looking at. That is a response to joint attention. So there's the back and forth. There's a two-way street in that way, okay? For children with autism, a lot of them lack joint attention. Okay. Or some of them maybe will just initiate, but they will not respond, or vice versa. They may not res they may respond, but they will not initiate. Okay, so there are there's a spectrum, as they said. Now, what about what is theory of mind skills? Okay, theory of mind is actually the awareness that others have thoughts and emotions that are independent of one's own. The ability that allows one to infer states of mind on the basis of external behavior. So for example, right now I'm standing here, I'm thinking that I know all of you have your own thoughts while you're listening to my talk. You may be thinking, oh yes, I agree with Dr. Sia, or you may be thinking, this is such a boring talk, I want to go home now. 
Okay, so that ability to think that you have thoughts of your own is called theory of mind. I will show you a short video. So this is my son at 16 months old. I want you to take note of the initiation of joint attention within the first few seconds, within like five seconds. So joint attention, so right now he's looking at me, I'm holding the camera, and then he will look at, I think at mommy, and then he will look back at me. Let's see if this will work. Alapat na wala. Ay. There. Points at me, looks at mommy, looks back at me. Okay? You see that? So he wants to make sure that mommy, that he's, that mommy sees me because he found me interesting. Now look at this uh, patient of mine. So this is a four year, six month old. She has hearing loss and global developmental delay due to congenital rubella. Global developmental delay is a different diagnosis from autism spectrum disorder. So again, note the initiation of joint attention. We don't have any sounds, no? So I said, look, okay? And then I look at a toy. He look, she's looking at the toy, looks at me, looks back at the toy. So she has both. She initiated, and then she also responded to my initiation. Now, what about this? This is a three-year, three-month-old girl with autism and global developmental delay. Note at uh, my actions, no matter what I do to get her attention, I am ignored. It's like I'm not there. Can you? <laughs> it was so hard to get her attention. Uh, even if I'm touching her, not looking at me. Okay. Now this is in the toddler years. Okay. Now, let's move on. So, I'm now going to show you a slide, uh, uh, a video, showing um, theory of mind skills. Okay, this is an old video. This is a video that describes the lack of social thinking in, in individuals with autism. Uh, it is an old silent video by Heider and Simmel back in 1944. So I want you to watch the video, and then um, maybe I will ask a volunteer, what can they think, what will they think of the video? It's one minute. Okay, volunteers, uh, you know, there's no right or wrong answer. <laughs> so I just want a volunteer you know, to tell me what do they think is going or went on. Sige na, huwag na kayo mahiya. Ayun naman, tayo-tayo lang. Ikaw. Okay. Wala kayong comments? Okay. Invasion, sabi niya invasion. Inv can you um, expound some more? Invasion of... <laughs> Para bang kinocorner siya nung, nung una? Parang kinocorner siya eh. Oh, yung si Circle, nung pumasok si Triangle, parang kinocorner, parang may invasion ng ano, impression sa akin. Tapos umalis, tapos bigla lang nag-zero yung mga blocks, no? parang destruction, parang action film. Good. Okay, sige, nai. That's, that's a very good answer. Okay. So, um, uh, something just occurred right now, no? Um, I think in our audience, we have both individuals uh, who are typically developing 
and those with special needs, okay? So that is one way of explaining. Can we have another volunteer? Okay, architect Chan. Okay, okay, okay. Some, uh, some similarities and differences that I will take note. Okay? One is how they describe the shapes. So, um, there was a description, you know, concretely, there's a triangle and a circle. And then there's the use of the pronoun, sha, him, referring to a person. Okay? And there's a description of a friend. And there's a description of an invasion. So, parang there's one entity invading the other entity. So there are similarities, there are also differences. So, this is the description of a typically developing adolescent male, 13 years, 9 months old, with a full-scale IQ of 112, meaning no intellectual disability. So, ano yung sinabi niya? What happened was that the larger triangle was like a bigger kid or a bully. And he had isolated himself from everything else until two new kids came along and the little one was a bit more shy and scared. So there's a description of emotion. And the smaller triangle more like stood up for himself. Diba? So thinking, uh, yung, diba, how will he react to this bigger bully? And protected the little one. Okay? There's the social relationship. The big triangle got jealous of them. So that is theory of mind or you know, social, social thinking again came out and started to pick on the smaller triangle. The little triangle got upset and said, what's up, why are you doing this? So there's conversation, okay? That's typically developing. This is the adolescent male with autism, similar age and similar intellectual capacity. The big triangle went into the rectangle. There were a small triangle and a circle. The big triangle went out, shapes bounced off each other. The small circle went inside the rectangle. The big triangle was in the box with the circle. The small triangle in the circle went around each other a few times. They were kind of oscillating around each other, maybe because of a magnetic field. After that, they go off the screen. The big triangle turned like a star, like a star of David, and broke the rectangle. You see the stark difference, okay? And maybe the similarities with your answers, okay? So, yan po yung difference ng pag-iisip. Kahit na wala po silang intellectual disability. Kahit wala pong intellectual disability yung adolescent with autism, meron siya talagang difficulty of applying a concrete in a situation to, to reality to people. Okay? Let's move on with the clinical features. Communication deficits. There are delays in language. There's language regression between 50 to 24 months old, which happens in 20 to 30 percent of cases. So what is regression? I've heard many times, Talk, alam niyo po, nag, nagsasalita naman yung anak ko ng mga bandang one year, you know, one year old, nagdadada mama, tapos bigla siyang tumahimik. Okay? So that is like a slowing down. O kaya sabihin nila, uh, tumahimik, tapos o kaya ang bagal-bagal na, parang hindi na siya nagsalita ulit. So those are uh, observations of regression. There is delayed or immediate echolalia. So immediate echolalia is, you know, really, literally echoing. No, uh, usually nalala, nakikita yan sa pagtatanong. Anong gusto mong kainin? Ang sagot sa'yo, anong gusto mong kainin? Okay. Ang delayed echolalia, this is scripting. So they watch movies and then they, they engage in a monologue, di ba? like talking to themselves, pero memorize nila yung dialogue, yung script sa mga shows. Meron din scripted speech. So ito para din tong delayed echolalia, scripted speech, so they pick up certain ways of talking, tapos they incorporate it as if it's their own. Diba? There are pronoun reversals or speaking in a third person. 
Harold is talking in front of you right now. Okay? That's referring to myself. Instead of saying, I'm talking to you right now. Pronoun reversal. So, uh, paano yun? Ano ba sabihin ng bata? Halimbawa, yung nararamdaman ng bata, he's hungry. Pero sasabihin ng bata, are you hungry? But the message is, I am hungry. Diba? So, dalawa yun eh. Mali yung, yung use of statement. So, dapat, diba, statement or question. At mali yung pronoun. And then, there's an unusual sentence construction. Uh, meron ako isang pasyente, hindi ni-describe yung puzzles ko. Red, this is. Okay. So, yung pala, this is red. Madali pa yun eh. Pero kung minsan, lagang iisipin mo, you have to think. Unusual prosody. Prosody is the natural uh, lull or you know, tone of our speaking. Diba? I'm speaking to you right now. This is my natural prosody. I have a patient who tell me, I am, I am upset with my brother. I punch him. No. Why do you like to, to punch him? Because I like to punch him. So, flat. Diba? O kaya iba, similar talaga palaging upswinging. Diba? I'm going to punch my brother. I live in Caloacan City. Diba? So, uh, uh, similar, hindi nagbabago. Diba? What about atypical play skills? So, they usually engage in constructive play. So, blocks, patong lang. Single power, patong-patong. Lack of pretend play. Pretend play. Diba? Kunwakanurif. Pretend that you're cooking. Diba? Pretend that your handkerchief is the blanket for the baby. Okay? So, symbolic play skills yun. Repetitive games or routines with toys. I have patients na before they play with the toy or my test materials, <laughs> kasi kanila lalaro eh. Any object, they have this routine. Huh? Focus on sensory aspects of objects, games, or play. There are many children who like what we call cause and effect toys. Babang mo, make a sound, it will light up. Okay, so yun po yung sensory aspects. And most of the time, they are content with playing alone. So solitary play. It's like there are no children at home. No, parang if you're busy doing your work or house chores and you're home base for your work, parang wala kang isorbo. No, you can leave your child you know, playing on his own. What about restricted interests? So they have rituals and routines. So rituals, ito yung habits na talagang hindi pwede mabreak. Uh, it can be anything. So ano po yung pinaka common na, na alam natin? Ritual of, halimbawa, turning off the lights in the evening. Kailangan unahin mo na yung living room, and then the bathroom in this side, and then the bedroom here, and then bedroom number two, and then bedroom number three. Hindi pwedeng maiba-iba. They have to follow that, uh, uh, that order. Uh, fascination and obsession with unusual objects. Preference for hard items. So, unusual objects, yung buttons, mga elongated things, string, yung isang pasyente ko, paper clip. So, tinanggal niya, basta wire. Tinanggal niya yung pinantatali ko sa wire. Tapos, finorm niya into something else. In fairness, ha, ang galing niya mag-form. <laughs> Tapos, changes in activities may provoke a tantrum. This is what they call difficulties with transition. So, naglalaro, and then you tell the child, Oh, anak, later, ano, maya-maya, kakain na tayo. Wah! So, kailangan mo talagang tanggalin. Talagang severe ang tantrum. And then, preoccupation with parts of objects. So, the most common, wheels of the car. They just play with the wheels of the car. Okay. Oh, another volunteer. Sige na. Tayo naman. Ikaw na. Ikaw na. Ikaw na. Mag Magpapakita lang ako ng picture. And then you just tell me what you see. Wala? Oh, okay. Sige po. Ah. Yan na. Ah. Kahit dyan ka lang. Okay? Tignan mo mabuti ha. And then you tell me what you see. Ay, mali. Kaya. What did you see? Oh, okay, pwede. Nag-effect pa rin. So, prototype of a computer. Any, any other answer? Empty slide. Okay. Ito yung kanina. <laughs> ano na? O, oh, sige. Prototype of a computer. That is correct. But actually, what you saw are cookies and biscuits. And then you took the whole and interpreted it into something else. Okay? Uh, many people with autism, they focus on the details. They will tell me, ah, meron kayong Oreo dyan. Meron kang butter biscuits. Ha? Huh? Okay. Another volunteer. Sige na. Ikaw na ulit, ha? Ito na lang. Sige. 
So this is a picture that I use in administering the autism diagnostic observation schedule. So the purpose of this picture is you know, to get what interests the person and then get a sample of his language. Okay. So volunteer, tell me about the picture. Map of North America. Tama. Okay. Any, anybody else? Ah, sige. So yung 42-year-old patient ko, uh, very, very rich, extremely rich. <laughs> so well-traveled all, all around the world, very intelligent, you know, went to Harvard, went to Oxford to study, etc., etc. Meron siyang art gallery, selling paintings, etc., etc. And then he went on to describe what is in each state. Na hindi ko nga alam yung iba. Okay. Yung sa Florida, doon nalaman ko lang sa kanya yung, ano yun? Camp Cavan na ba yun? Port Canaveral. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's where they, you know, um, launched the shuttles. I don't know that. You know? So, in isa isa niya. Northeast, New York, you know, Washington, Empire State, etc., etc. Without mention of the map of, the, of North America. Okay? Yes, as, tama ka. Tama yun, di ba? As typical people, we would take the wholeness. Okay? But a lot of times, people with autism, they focus on the details. So it's like missing the forest for the trees. Diba? What? Ito naman. Another picture that I use in the evaluation. Oh, comment. A resort full of activities, okay? Tell me more of the activities. So resort full of activities. It's a park, okay? Crowded. Sige, magka-prawn pa ako. What can you tell me about the people? <laughs> They're swimming. Okay. So what do we associate with the resort? It's fun, no? I recently evaluated... Uh, so it's a cartoon, obviously, di ba? Yung, I recently evaluated a 14-year-old boy. When he saw the picture, he started laughing profusely. No, parang tawa siya. Na clearly, siyempre ni Bawi ko, it, it sounded like a fake laugh. No? <laughs> parang gumagano pa talaga siya. Okay. So kasi sabi niya, there are so a lot of jokes here. Tapos inisa-isa niya, you know, look at this plane. This plane is flying off the building. Look at this fish. Look at this fish looking at the people here. And look at this ganito ganya. So, okay, so inappropriate, clearly. Diba? Kasi nap napaka artificial yung laugh. And of course, it's not the point na papakita pa siya ng joke. Kasi my question was, you know, can you tell me about the picture? So, um, for, for many typical people, yan, yung mga sasagot nila. It's a resort, they're having fun, it's crowded. So, again, the wholeness. Okay, stereotype behaviors. These stereotype behaviors or unusual mannerisms usually do not appear by three years old. Now, what is the importance of that? Children who have autism when they're younger than three years old are usually not diagnosed because they don't hand flap, or they don't twirl around, they don't have the specific interests yet. Okay? But you can already see some social uh, ineptness. Diba? They don't respond to their name. They don't respond to questions. So usually by three years old, that's the peak of when all of the symptoms of autism will appear. So what are the manifestations? of so finger flicking, unusual eye gazing, looking at the corner of the eyes, habitual toe walking, or persistent sniffing, licking of non-food items. Self-injurious behaviors. So head banging, diba, during tantrums. Eye poking, spin, uh, skin picking. Eye poking, talang, yung isang pasyente ko, he showed me. He would push. It's okay. I already saw it. You can put your hands down. But these stereotype behaviors are not specific to autism. Okay. My, the oldest patient that I saw, so we were having a conversation. And when I keep quiet, he would start you know, rocking. The whole body rocking. Okay. Uh, you know, a few more um, uh, comments on that adult that I saw. So um, the reason why I saw him, so my wife is a psychiatrist. 
and he was seeing this man for addiction. So, at, ano, na, 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 drug user siya, di ba? Eh, and the kwento, the, the story was that um, he, ha, his, he has friends because of that. Okay? And so his friends would like to you know, would talk to him and tell him to buy drugs. So, gullible. Di ba? And then, sorry pa nito, when he was in high school, he only liked his friends to be in, those in the honor roll. So if you're not intelligent, you're not his friend. Okay. So my wife, syempre, parang, and all other, the other team members have been, you know, scratching their head. How can they help this person? Kasi nga, parang, it's so hard to get into him. Parang, it's so hard to let him realize na, you know, using drugs is really not good for you. You know, you can do better than this. Kasi nga, it, because of the autism. You know, unfortunately, no one of the... Uh, Kasi yung, yung, yung tumulong sa family to bring him into a rehab center. Um, called him in, in such a, a bad word. Okay, hindi ko na sabihin yun. No? Uh, pero that's how they decide kasi parang hindi siya makausap. No? So, inival ko siya ito. When we went through the history, ito pala. Hindi siya umiinom. Ay, mamaya ito. Next page. Sensory symptoms. They have hyposensitivities or hypersensitivities or both. They have oral aversions. Ayaw na kung ano man yung lumalapit sa bibig nila. Depende sa texture. They have a high pain tolerance. May sugat na, hindi malang umiyak. Nalaman na lang ng parents the following day na namumula. O yan, yung sabi po ni Dr. Reyes, di ba? Magana yung ngipin, pero walang complaint. Total body tactile defensiveness. And then, but there is no evidence that sensory symptoms differentiate autism from other developmental disabilities. So again, the adult patient that I had rarely drank water. So from when he was young, usually Coke Zero or wine. So tuwing ka kain siya sa restaurant, mag-order ng wine. Pagka mahal-mahal. So, pero yun, nev rarely water. Associated features, what we call splinter or savant skills. Okay, so, ang, 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 um, ang skills po ng tao, di ba, malawak yan eh. Varying, no? But there, are, there is usually an un unevenness. So merong maganda, meron talagang uh, very impaired. Sometimes, you know, ay, ito pala. So, what are examples? They may have exceptional focusing, the very, 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 very good memory, or very good at math, or calculation, music, or art abilities. Oftentimes, these serve no purpose in day-to-day -day life and do not improve functional outcomes. Oftentimes, okay? But some of them, they may eventually help with financial independence. Okay? They may promote a vacation, for financial independence and occasionally national recognition. This is one of the most popular ones. Uh, hindi pala. This is the drawing of my typically developing four-year-old uh, niece before. This is the drawing of Nadia. So she is a popular girl written in books about autism. When she was three and a half years old, this is her drawing of a horse. So can you see the the big difference, the detail? Meron pang action yung horse niya. Samantala yung pamangkin ko, just standing to the picture. Hindi siya mukhang horse? <laughs> okay, it's a, it's a stallion. <laughs> oh, now, again, another popular person with autism, Stephen Wiltshire. This is her drawing of the Natural History Museum from London at nine years old. The print cost $125. This is him now. This is his... Uh, pencil drawing of the Cathedral of St. Patrick from Manhattan. The print, the size of an A4 bond paper costs $31. It's only a print, not the original. Okay. Now this is one of his recent drawings. So it's a fire truck. It's a simple fire truck from, I think, Brooklyn yata ito eh. The original. Sa tingin niyo magkano? Million. Hindi naman po. Yes, yes. You know, that's actually the good thing about him. Parang he would go on a chopper, no? Parang he would look uh, panoramic view. So by memory, the drawing na niya. Ang galing, no? Kakaiba. I wish I had that. So, but in any case, photo, yes, exactly, photographic memory. This costs $3,938. This is the original hand. Okay, sige. So, 
Now, this is the DSM. Uh, we use a book called the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of uh, Mental Disorders. It's on, already on the fifth edition. It was published May 2013. And this is the set of criteria that we use to diagnose a person with autism. So first set is called the Persistent Deficits in Social Communication and Social Interaction. So I described that earlier. So there are deficits in reciprocity, ranging from abnormal social approach, Hawakan yung kamay, papatong dito. To failure to initiate or respond to social interactions. Dead man. Okay? Number two, deficits in nonverbal communicative behavior. So poor eye contact, lack of gestures. Meron mga, usually the, the, um, the adolescents that I evaluate, when I ask them about the use of gestures, sasabihin nila, usually madagdal lang siya eh. Salita lang siya na salita. So magkakwento yung bata, pero yung kamay nakababa lang talaga. Wala tayo nung, you know, di ba yung the usual waving of the hands when we tell stories. And then third, in that group, deficits in developing, maintaining, or understanding relationships. So, di ba, meron yung lack of friends, meron yung iba, inappropriate yung kanilang approach. Uh, so, either lack of knowledge of personal space, kamusta ka na? Di ba? Or yung iba, meron akong usual, uh, recent four-year-old naman, uh, wala siyang stranger anxiety. He would leave my clinic and talk to the other patients outside and would talk about himself and his family so private information. But so, of course, that's scary, diba? Uh, of our behaviors. So they may have trouble understanding white lies, irony, sarcasm, they may be gullible and naive, and they may be too honest. Okay? So, uh, so talagang, report talaga nila, diba? They talk to strangers, they have inappropriate public comments, Para ang taba-taba naman niya, mami. Diba? So, uh, ito po, I don't mean to make a joke. No? Uh, so, let's be sensitive. Pero, you know, diba, it's tayo parang we find it funny, but if you just think of the person with autism, hindi nila naisip. And maybe if they are aware, they may really have a hard time figuring out what to say. So, if you just put your shoes in their shoes, diba, ang hirap. They may have... Uh, Minimal understanding of relationships or no understanding at all. Um, they may have one-sided friendships or friendships based solely on shared special interest. So, meron akong, again, an adolescent. Uh, ang gusto lang niya, ang kalaro lang niya, friend lang niya, one. Kasi pareho sila may gusto ng Beyblades. Okay? Yung 44-year-old, di ba? Yung friends niya when he was younger are only those who are in the honor roll. Okay? Kung hindi ka honor student, hindi ka niya friend. So, no adulthood, hindi ka niya friend kung hindi ka mayaman, or if you're not using drugs. You're not his friend. Uh, how sad, di ba? Definitions of friendships. I asked, you know, one of the adolescents, so what's, what, you know, what's the, uh, what do you think is, uh, is a friend? Para magkwentuhan lang. So, kadaldalan. Di ba? So, very superficial. When I asked them about their thoughts on marriage or long-term relationships, having boyfriends, girlfriends, one patient would say, para may meeting sila. Para sa Christmas party. Diba? About marriage, kailangan maging 30 years old muna bago magpakasal. Okay? When I asked them, what would be good about marriage? Kissing would be an advantage. Okay? Uh, and then, yung, yung, yung responsibility. Again, the 44-year-old, no? Who, so he would use credit cards. Hindi siya nagkakash eh. But who's paying for the credit cards? The parents, pa rin. Buti na lang, mayaman sila. Yeah. And then, again, we evaluate ko rin that 44-year-old. Di, siyempre, uh, okay, thank you for coming, ganyan. So, we're already done. Tayo siya agad. Wala malamang, thank you, doctor. Okay, I'll see you next time. Then, tumayo na siya, parang wala siyang kausap. Okay. So, yun yung inappropriateness of social, uh, of behaviors in social situations. The second group, so ito yung restricted repetitive patterns of behavior. So, one is yung stereotype motor movement, so yun yung hand clapping, di ba? Use of objects, magla-line up ng objects, or speech, the echolalia, the pronoun errors, a referral to himself by his name. Number two, the insistence on sameness, or yung adherence to routines, ito yung habits, di ba? Insistence on playing by very fixed rules. Yung madaling mapikon kasi dinaya, kunyari, kailangan sumunod. On the dot, no? Yung isang pasyente ko, uh, dinala ng mami niya for the evaluation, no? teenager. Sabi ko, so, who brought you here? Miss Mommy. 
Di ba how formal? Ang tawag niya sa kanyang parents, Miss Mommy and Mr. Daddy. Tapos, um, the greeting rituals, same route. Uh, I remember when I was a fellow, no? So, uh, I evaluated a child. So, first session. So, I did some tests. And then, nag-meet kami ulit on the second session. So, first session, I was asking questions. And then, pagdating niya on the second session, sinabi niya sa akin, Dr. Jan, ask me the questions. What questions? Dr. Jan, ask me the questions. So, hindi kami makapag-proceed to, my other, to the other things. Kasi naalala niya yung mga tanong ko the last time, yung first session. The ritual. Gusto niya, ganun rin yung gagawin namin. Uh, so ako po yung parang, ha? napahiya ako. Okay. So I mentioned about the tantrum. So kuminsan, there are uh, older school-age children na doon lang madadiagnose ang autism because of tantrums. So I remember a couple na, na nagtatantrum sila kapag hindi sila tinawag ng teacher to recite or pag hindi sila, hindi sila yung una sa pila. Diba? At intention tantrums. Talagang mag-grow. Nagano sila. No? Maglulupasay. So intense for an 8-year-old. Diba? You don't expect that kind of tantrum or getting upset. Uh, okay. Number three, yung highly restricted fixated interest. I mentioned this already. Yung isang uh, teenager ko, ang kanyang interest ay Michelin star restaurants. So we when we're talking about traveling, he would suggest to me, you know, doctor, do you know, uh, ano to? Hawker Chan, it's Philippines, no? Or you should go to this restaurant, you know, it has three Michelin stars. So, ah, okay, thank you, I'll take note of that. So, asi gusto daw niya maging chef. Baso related. Tapos, hyper or hyperreactivity to sensory input. That same patient, interested sa Michelin stars, dislikes sweating. My gosh, kung buti na lang aircon yung clinic ko. <laughs> Ayaw niya pagpawisan. The other um, set of criteria, the symptoms must be present in the early developmental period, okay, but may not become fully manifest until social demands exceed limited capacity. So, ano ibig sabihin nito? Yung mga individuals with mild autism symptoms, they may not get diagnosed early on. Kasi the symptoms are mild, and then what are the social demands or expectations for a three-year-old, for example? Mas so, makala sa parents mo, you know, listen to instructions siguro. Pero tapos siguro mamimilit ka o sige mamilit, but when you're older tapos namimilit ka pa rin ng gusto mo. Hindi na 'yun tama, 'di ba? Inappropriate na 'yon. The symptoms cause impairment, you know. There are individuals with autism who don't need therapy anymore because they're functioning. They may have their own jobs or they may be doing well in school. Wala silang tantrum, so okay lang. Um but it doesn't mean they don't have autism. And the symptoms are not better explained by other disorders. Example, intellectual disability, global developmental delay. Okay. So, how do we start diagnosing a child or individual? Siyempre, the power of observation. Kailangan, uh, ito, no, sa pediatrics, back in July 2006, they released you know, a statement how to identify infants and young children with developmental disorders in the medical home. So how pediatricians, general pediatricians, should go about identifying children who may have autism, okay? When to screen. So number one, if anybody taking care of the child has concerns. So that may be a parent, a relative, or a doctor. You need to screen, okay? So screen, the concept of screening is different from the concept of evaluation. Screening is just identifying which child needs further evaluation, okay? The evaluation would result in a diagnosis. In difference po. Tapos, at specific, uh, specific screening at um, specific time periods or ages, so 9 months old, 18 months old, and 24 months old. Uh, and then there's also a separate clinical report on identifying and evaluating children with autism. So what are the red flags? So marami na ko nabanggit, no? Pero some. Halimbawa, may makikita kayo. No babbling by nine months. What is babbling? This is the combination of consonants and vowels. Babagata, That's babbling. Okay? Hindi po word ang dada or mama. Unless you use, the child uses that specifically for the parent. No gesturing by 12 months. So the first gesture that's usually learned is pointing. The first point is like five minutes. It's like reaching and then semi-curl and then pointing with an index finger point, like this. Okay? Parents, when I ask them, parang wala silang 
idea kasi these are usually the skills that we take for granted. Diba? No single words by 16 months, uh, no spontaneous uh, two-word phrases by two years old, and any loss of language. This is the regression. Here are examples of general developmental screening instruments that pediatricians use. And these are autism-specific screening instruments. The last one, social communication questionnaire, that is sometimes used for older people, for adults. Comprehensive evaluation. Okay? Ideally, this is done by a team. Kaya lang, there is a dearth of child developmental specialists. Kaya ang nangyayari, pa isa, -isa na lang kami. Diba? So, ano yung components? History, very important. Always go the history. But I, you know, I've had the experience of having problems with the history kasi mayroong ibang mga parents na super busy, they don't know what's going on with their child. Ang nag-aalaga kasi yaya. Or parang talagang walang idea. So, ang hirap mag, mag, uh, maghanap ng history. And then the developmental or psychometric evaluation, figuring out if the child has developmental delay or intellectual disability, a hearing test, laboratory investigation as necessary, and then it results in a categorical diagnosis. Okay, gold standard test, in quotes, kasi there are no gold standard tests. Okay, wala po. The gold standard is a well-experienced clinician. We use uh, several instruments, so the Autism Diagnostic Observation Schedule, ito po yung direct observation of the individual if he exhibits symptoms of autism. The Autism Diagnostic Interview Revised is a two-hour interview of a caregiver. History, figuring out if that person, the individual adult, exhibited these behaviors from the young, uh, young age until the present. Referrals in the Philippines, this is the website of our society, devpetfield.org, to look for board-certified specialists. The, uh, the children can all, or individuals can also be brought to developmental psychologists. I think uh, I, go, I will go quickly to this one. Why identify early is early intervention. The earlier it's identified, the earlier the intervention is given, the better the outcome. Comorbidities. What are comorbidities? Ito yung other disorders occurring with autism. So I've mentioned one already, the intellectual disability. No? About six, less than 50% of cases have an additional intellectual disability. So ito po yung latest slide from CDC. Wala po tayo sa Pilipinas, unfortunately. Other co-occurring disorders, a language disorder, hearing impairment, reactive attachment disorder. These are usually seen in children in orphanages. Okay? So anxiety disorders, seizures. There are two uh, ages kung saan nagpipik ang manifestation of seizure. So preschool years, 3 to 5 years old, and before the teen years. This is a very interesting study. You know, the misnomer of high-functioning autism. I'm sure you've heard of that term. High-functioning, low-functioning. Okay? But the, these terms only reflect or only um, address the intellectual capacity of the person with autism. It does not speak of the symptoms of autism. Okay? It's actually a misnomer kasi it's very misleading. Minsan kasi pag sinabi natin or pag nakikita natin, oh, may, yung grade sa mga anak ko ang tataas eh. Honor roll pa nga. Diba? So, kapag ka ganun, they tend to forget about the social skills. Hindi na na-address. Eh, yun yung pinaka-importante. Diba? In life, you know, what's really more important than letters and numbers is really the people's skills. You know, it's actually a, both, a, a, a package of you know, uh, intelligence and people's skills, the non-cognitive skills. So, briefly, intelligence quotient, so IQ. It only speaks of cognitive capacity. But what about adaptive functioning? Adaptive functioning refers to daily functioning, independent living skills in all areas, so communication, self-care, socialization, etc. Accounting statistics, do you still remember this from our college years? There's the bell curve, diba? And then in a population of, for example, eight-year-olds, diba? Meron yung in the area, in the middle. This is the typical range. Okay, and then standard deviation, how far are you from the typical range? Ngayon, so yan yung typical range. And then, ito yung one standard deviation below. So depende sa score na ginagamit mo, merong one standard deviation below. And then ito yung two standard deviation below and further on. Okay, so look at this one. Ito yung results ng study. Ang pinakita ng study, 
is the difference in points of the IQ and the score in the adaptive functioning. Okay? So pag zero, siyempre walang difference. Ibig sabihin, if your IQ is 100, your adaptive functioning is also 100. But here, nakikita nila na if the child was diagnosed at an early age and then middle years, 6 to 12, 13 years, yung red yung IQ. Okay? And then the green, uh, and then the red is the one with, with intellectual disability. So if the child has intellectual disability, walang masyadong difference ang IQ and adaptive functioning. But if the child does not have ID, does not have intellectual disability, so normal IQ, malaki yung difference, mas mababa pa. Ibig sabihin kung 100 yung IQ niya, yung kanyang adaptive functioning is minus 15 to 30 points. Ang baba nun. Okay? At mas pababa pa ng pababa pa if you are diagnosed at, an, at a later age ba, na hindi na-identified. So that is the composite. What is the composite? Yan yung overall score of an adaptive functioning. This is for communication. So ganun din, di ba? The green, di ba? Mas mababa. That, those are the people with autism without intellectual disability. This is daily living. Okay? And then this is socialization. So, siguro wag na natin gamitin yung high functioning, low functioning. I think what's more accurate is a child with autism without intellectual disability or without global developmental delay. So, in summary, mag-cover over na ako. <laughs> autism spectrum disorders are biologically based and highly heritable neurodevelopmental disorders. I'm sure this was men mentioned earlier, di ba? A recent study, 80% talaga genetic eh. Essential features include impairments in reciprocal social communication, restricted interest, early identification is important to provide early intervention. Autism specific screening should be done at 18 and 24 months old. And then a proper evaluation is necessary for identification and treatment. And comorbid disorders are common in autism. Thank you very much.